Today we're going to talk about winning. We're going to talk about what we can do to make sure we achieve our goals in 2024. Uh, just getting ready for the event and the first uh, few minutes when you stand up on stage is the most important so just make sure that when I get there I launch the event properly and then the conclusion how do I wrap it up and just make sure I give everybody actionable points to make sure that they go into 2024 winning so anyway, yeah right? that's too for, for, for me that's too long I'll tell you, alright, that one. No, I'm fine, mate. No, the problem is. Not yeah. working for Easy Jet. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Tired. You are, you, you're the branded, mate. Easy Jet, whatever. I got one of those. Warm the crowd a little bit, it could be a damp squid, but I might throw a joke in. It's always a risk. But. I think you're sort of joke you're going for. I don't know, maybe. Something about Steny or. Colin or. I don't know. Do nothing, not, nothing risky. Do you not think, guys, when we get on stage, you change it and. I was going to say, it's great to be back here, thanks for having me to buy. Because he was last here when I was living here in 2017 and wow, the place has changed since then. Dubai used to be top region. Not <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's perfect, that's perfect. That's so I thought... Incredible 2023. And we also want to make sure we're giving some actionable points to be able to launch <laughs> and 2024. As you can see, it's an incredible, incredible room. Uh, cool. Oh, amazing. As you would expect, Brian. Pardon? It's bright. Just get used to it on your eyes. And presumably the big lights are going to stay off. Yeah, the cameras. Three times world record achiever. Please give him a round of applause as the video starts. And we welcome on stage, Ash Dykes. Perfect. Spot on. Yeah, and then I'll click through. Great in rehearsal, let's see if good ones are. Yeah, that was a good point to say. <laughs> I've heard stories of some of the lessons that I've learned from the extreme environments where it's not a case of win or lose, but a case of life and death and breaking it down to how much. Okay, so let's, let's go there for just a second. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, isn't that, so when we talk about winning, uh -huh. ultimate competition is Right. So it will isn't be it always life or death? Right. Right. We don't break. Uh, you, there will be a change. So on the day, I'll go, if my life depended on it, could I do it? And, yeah. and if you can put yourself in that mindset, uh -huh. you can do more. That's right, but not and everyone can put themselves in that mindset. Like they need something external going on. And if everything around them external is, well, they're not going to die, they've got food, they've got water, they've got food, they've dry, they've got shelter. No need to panic, no need to work hard, no need to get up early. That's the thing. And so this is trying to drill in that, yes, you need to be like that at the worst of times, but when you're back home, you are dry, you are comfortable, you still have to have these ideas, put a routine into plan, have that self belief do the steps necessary to take in order to get to that point that you're trying to get to. And then when it comes to life or death, you have the necessary skill set. Hopefully you never get to that point where it's life or death, but you're still gonna be winning along the way. But it's always life or death on business. Or in your life. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't cheat, your life's over. You're on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's that mentality, but not a lot of people have that. I think. I think it's a natural instinct for everyone, but it's covered in a layer of dust. They never really. Many people. It's a comfortable generation to be in, isn't it? No. For you, would you say it's the easiest time to win in life, or the hardest time? I think it's the easiest if you've got the right answer. Yeah, that's fine. Right, because a lot of people, they just don't like to work in those. Whereas 30, 40, 50 years ago, longer, they can imagine you have no choice, you've got what you're growing. Otherwise, the consequences would be much greater than what they are today. So I think people just get away with not putting in that ground. There's that lazy mentality. 
but we've all got that mentality within us to get it, to keep going, to fight for what we're trying to get to, but not a lot of people do. So then when you've achieved, which you have, uh -huh. you should go do it again, put yourself in a life or death situation. Because I would tell you what, after the first record that I achieved, it was the realization of knowing just how many people's mindsets are capped. With the amount of people that said these journeys were impossible, and me believing that to a certain extent, you know, if this is possible, the worst case for me is I could die out there. You know, I have to get I have to get everything right, meticulous planning, attention to detail. But best case, I make it and I did make it and it was only at that point I realised a lot of people that won't do their due diligence and they'll just deem something impossible without looking into it, breaking it down and understanding that actually it is possible. I love it. You know? <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great, yeah. man. It's gonna be great. Yeah, that's good. Okay, he's he's another level. So to have Ash Dykes here uh, to present to us. I mean it's just how does somebody like that think mm, that no. creates world records, puts himself in a situation where he could die and almost does it on purpose to self-develop, mm. uh, but also to show other people that things are possible level, mm. which you have to gradually get there. I think most people don't understand. It, let's say you're going to do an ultramarathon, as, as you would. If you're unfit, you can't just go and do an ultramarathon, mm. fairly obviously. So you've got to go for a run, as far as you can go. You've got to recover. And then the next time you run, you've got to run a bit further. And then mm -hmm. the next time you do it, you've got to go a bit further. So most people see something like that, and they don't realise the steps that it takes. And actually, they can do it, but they've got to be prepared to do that first run, mm. recover, and go again. It feels a bit ghosty though. Well, they've overbuilt. They've overbuilt. Yeah. So all the hotels are empty. Um, they did it just yeah. for the World Cup. Wow. It's a good place to have fun. It's interesting. Though. It's not like this place though. No, this is going crazy. Man. This is different, eh? Yeah. It'll be another level once I build a casino. Yeah, so we only talked about that last night, yeah. Yeah, that, that will be different. But to buy games, whatever happens, UK raises taxes, yeah. Labour game. <laughs> You're moving! <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, right? I mean, this place seems to gain whatever's yeah. happened. Whenever people predict a crash in, right? we've been talking about it for years, it's going to be a crash, going to be a crash in Dubai, like house prices. No, no, no. It goes the other way. It won't, it just keeps going the other way. Um, they build them so, I mean, there's no green belt that, right? So they just keep building. So, you know, let's say you've got five, ten years to go in your career. Okay, great, well, let's go five years. Yeah. You can maximise the money, but you still can't enjoy that five years. You don't want to. Mm, it depends what motivates you, doesn't it? Yeah, but but let's go around though, he's things. got enough money already. Yeah. So then he's trying to, I mean, he's come from literally nothing, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, so he's trying to look after his family. Yeah. But does he really want to, I don't know, maybe he does, because he can score goals. He was the top goal scorer last year. Yeah, he, but even at that level, you can't say it's any other thing than money, can you? Even at that level, even if he's got, what we're saying, like before he went to, to Saudi, what we're saying he's got 200 million, 300 million. He's only got to put a post on Instagram, he gets 250, 250,000 dollars. <laughs> One post. So you think so he's already paid. a billionaire before he went to Saudi? I think he's a billionaire already, yeah. His brand's definitely worth it, definitely. So he doesn't need to be in Saudi. He doesn't, he doesn't, but, then he's but got nor family. does, you know, you know, not a lot, you think, of the most successful people, and he's not even nowhere near. Morning! Morning! You good? Super Bev! Very good. Sorry, I hope I had How's things? I'm good, you good? Yeah, we just got a hug like that, but it's like. Big cuddles now. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. I don't know. There's a. I j it, it has to be money. It has to be. I don't care whether he's got yeah. six, seven, eight hundred million. If he can then earn that again in two years or three years, mm -hmm. he's doing it for the, you're obviously very, very wealthy, but you can still be the next level, can't you? Yeah. 300 yeah, there's another level, yeah. Oh, the 300, exactly, yeah, you, the we all know what the, you can That's the private, yeah, that's the that, Exactly, life. you go to a different, yeah, yeah, yeah. and for the sake of two or three years. It's also your kids, isn't it? It's helping them have that other level for years, and exactly. probably their kids. Yeah, and it's a, it's a measure of success, right? You, everyone looks at richest man in the world. Well, richest that's the thing. most Google thing. It's, it's, a, it's a ranking table, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, for, yeah. Pe for, for people, that's what they do, it's a ranking. Number one, number two, it's a league table. 
So if you Google me, the most Google thing is Nigel Green net worth. Right? I've no idea why. It doesn't say. Where's your birth? Elon Musk. That's just me Googling it. Yeah. Inheritance. He must say somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Probably Google Michael Owen. Nigel oh. Green life expectancy. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in. <laughs> Wait, it's a measure. It's, 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 yeah. We're talking to you about winning. It's, it's a way of keeping score. Yeah, yeah. Ready as I'm gonna be, yeah, I just gotta remember everything now. So, know what I wanna do, make sure I remember to do it now. Sure you will. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your CEO, Mr. Nigel Green! incredible to be in Dubai with such a fantastic audience. Today we're going to talk about winning. We're going to talk about what we can do to make sure we achieve our goals in 2024. Let me just start. Who set a firm goal for 2024? You need to actually set something that you go for and you really, really go for in 2024. And what are the key things that you have to do to achieve it? For me, fitness is number one. Second is appoint the right people. I have to make sure my routine is exactly right. They're the key aspects. But I know what I need to apply to achieve the goal. And it is my pleasure now to introduce you to Ash Dykes, who has three world firsts, the three world records. And if there's one quality that I think we need above all else, it's grit. Please give him a round of applause. We'll start with a video and then the greatest adventurer right now is Ash Dykes in the world, in my opinion. He's here today. Grab ideas. Guys, it's great to be here. When I was contacted to present today, I didn't want to provide your typical motivational speech because I believe to, where, to get to where you guys have gotten, you clearly have that drive and that motivation already. So instead, I want to take you on a journey where the lessons I've learned have been from some of the world's most extreme environments where it's not a case of win or lose, but a case of life or death. Try to. You know, a couple of things you said that people wouldn't normally have been moving that way. Well yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you feel like, so it's a joke. Don't worry if it's, a, if it's a small laugh, not a big laugh. Not. Yeah, I'm going to try and get somewhere else. You try and there. I try as well. Verge, Manchester United fan I know and Liverpool of course competitors but Michael Owen, greatest goal scorer ever. <laughs> Not quite. Hi Serge, uh, I hope you're well. Uh, I'm told you support Manchester United so you must have had uh, a lot of disappointment in recent years but I bet you remember the good old days and they will return I'm sure. It might just be a few years yet but hope you're well and you take care. Love it. Have a good one. And Dykes was incredible. And you may think that's extreme, but the principles that he applies to that extreme adventure. That Even an extra special welcome to everyone who's flown into Dubai to be here today. Mr. Reese Salade, give a round of applause, please. Is this on? Yeah, this is on. Right, morning, everybody. Um, I know we're looking forward to getting to lunch. Um, I'm desperately waiting for this timer to go down. Um, but why am I here, right? Um, Wednesday, typical Nigel Green fashion gives me a call. Hello, chap. Need you to present for 15 minutes, TED Talk style, mindset. That's all from me. You'll be glad to know. Thank you very much for your time. Um, and I'm now going to welcome up James Green. Super. Thank you, Noel. Thank you, Reese. Two super presentations then. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping one of them was crap to make myself look better, but they were both very, very good. 
I'm going to keep this punchy. Thank you very, very, very much for listening today. Thank you, James. Thank you, all the speakers. Give me a big round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> this will be a dog, and he's absolutely right. We've done, we've done hard. We've done hard. We did it in an empty room. There's a couple of people not coming. Shall we nominate someone to come and pick it up? Pick up the wall. Yeah. Inspiring. Let's see if we can take it to another level. We've awarded our top people, recognising them, those are in the room, and a few of them that are on this streaming camera right over there. Before we get to that, we've got Michael Owen, who was the greatest goal scorer in English history. Michael, I, I think Harry just tapped one in, but he was lucky. So I'm still claiming you're the best, and we're going to be bringing you up on stage very, very shortly. We're going to do a little bit for charity for fun to kick it off. And then uh, we're going to ask some questions and we'd like some audience participation, particularly from Liverpool fans. Okay, uh, what you want to ask, Michael. Give him a big round of applause. Michael Owen, James Green. So basically, Michael, looked, you know, on the video, looks really intense. He says, okay, so I was super ballsy when I was a kid and I was so ballsy that I used to get an apple core and I'd throw it in the bin. And of course, if it missed, my mum would go mad. And that's really showed I was ballsy. Right? And of course, everybody's taking the mickey, right? Because right? he thinks throwing an apple claw is ballsy. <laughs> he didn't say it was six, yeah. okay, but it's had millions and millions of hits if you've not seen it. But we thought we'd, you know, see if you can throw an apple claw in the bin. I mean, does, does that mean you're quite good at throwing apples? Well, well I was going to say, who shouts at me if I miss? <laughs> My this mom's not, my mum's not here. <laughs> so, Michael, if you stand here, oh, no. how far do you think you can get an apple in this bin? And no pressure, but Devira very, very kindly said that if you do get an apple in the bin, they will give £5,000 towards the Katie Piper Foundation this year. So, a big wow. thank you to the company for that. <laughs> There's your apples. <laughs> I disagree to this. I think you do. <laughs> Right. Can I show all of these apples? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh! That was so close. Oh, what was in it? Are you on the middle? No. Look at this. No. Oh, that's close. Oh! Got one there. I might need that to take it. Oh! One more go, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit. Right, you have to get this one in. It's not that easy. Otherwise, it's going to be all day. That's worse. Yes! We're getting it all day. Love it. Okay, we've got a call time now. We could ask him questions all day. And a big, big, big thank you. To Michael Owen, is that really <laughs> So this last session is really to congratulate the people that have done incredibly well in 2023. I thought we may start, perhaps, with a little incentive for just the first quarter to kick off the year. Thank you for logging on. Let's have an amazing De Beer year. Thank you, everybody. incredible day. I mean, Ash Dykes was absolutely awesome. I mean, if you think of the, what he's done, the determination, the persistence, and really just being prepared to do things that everybody else said was impossible. And then we took our best, our managers, and they gave some incredible talks. And then, of course, we had the Michael Owen on there, uh, just chatting to him and just finding out what it really takes to be successful as a footballer. Funny enough, it's the same things that it takes to be successful in our business, and I actually say in life. And then, of course, we recognised De Vere's Elite, and that was fantastic. We're now ready, and we're ready to have an incredible 2020. It's a wow, wow, wow. Here we go.
That's what you need. Oh, that's great. Nice. Nice. Put your shorts on, nice. put your t-shirt on. Nice. on. <laughs> so this is actually the shower. Uh, what is it? Here it is. Here it is. Okay. You're real life. You're real life. Yeah, I've never met you in real life before. Uh, I need to open the bottle just to put. Uh, where's the key? Thank you. I think we should take this car. Okay, let's rock.